Okay, I'm gonna do a little video here. Just startle the chicks. Um, it's chick season, so how I'm raising them. Um, I just have a desk lamp here, and it's got a 60 watt bulb. And you can see how they're sitting on the outside edge. That means it's too hot in the center and not so hot out here, so that's kind of perfect because they can move in and out if they get cold. Um, what I did is I had a problem in the past where this they jump on here and they push it down, so I just put a coat hanger over the edge. And they have their food and their water, and I give them a box, a cardboard box, and a lot of times they like to go in there. This is an old, I think it was a wine crate. I found it just on the side of the road, and it's it's bigger than it needs to be. But um, you'll find when they get bigger, or if you have more chicks, last year I did eight. Um, I already did two this year. Here's three more. Um, this is a little big now, but as, as they get bigger, it, it, it's convenient. And I have the an old window screen I put over the top. Um, they're a little young now. Um, in two to three weeks, they're going to start flying up on everything, and they'll jump up there and then jump out. But, um, yeah, this is just how I set up a box. Um, you don't need the fancy heaters, just a, a desk lamp and a 60-watt bulb. But back at the beginning of the video, we saw them sitting around the outside edge. That's how you know you got the right temperature. They're not... Uh, cuddled in for heat that they're cold and they're not all the outside of it that they're hot um, And then just chick starter water uh, You want the they call them these drown proof waters. They're for babies and um, The water's not deep enough for them to fall in yeah, chicks are stupid if you just put a um, Like something like this in there They just kick shit up in there and then the water is always dirty. This stays a lot cleaner I'm um, using pine bedding now. I've used hay in the past. Hay, I had a problem with the light when it fell down. It almost caught fire. So we're going to go with the pine shavings again. Um, I don't like it for my allergies. Uh, the hay's not great for allergies either. But this seems to work. And uh, uh, I guess that's it. But here's my chick brooder. And um, let's see what we got here. We got our. Orpington and then Americana and the spe speckled Sussex this this batch and uh, Man chick prices are getting really expensive, but shop around but do do go someplace reputable um, people like tractor supply um, They're cheap, but uh, watch them because if, if you're your first timer what you'll see is um They get what's called pasty butt mill. Let's see if we can get some of these butt here um, They'll have a little thing. Let's see if I get my finger in here. Yeah. You'll see, like, just poop hanging off the back and it doesn't fall off, and that's called pasty butt. And it can lead to intestinal blockage and they can get sick from it. And um, if you have it, you have to clean it off, but they'll, they they kind of leave them there. So that's why I like uh, my local feed store um, for chicks. A little more expensive, but I think it's worth it. All right.